On September 11, 1892, the Chicago Tribune ran a story headed strange aspiration that is now puzzling Florida farmers. Transcribed here by Charlie Carlson, a respectable farmer named Peterson who owns a place just a few miles from Fernina, brings in a curious story of a ghost that haunts his cornfield and plows by the moonlight, he says, that he first noticed the aspiration about a month ago when setting up with a sick child of his. He happened to look out in the field about the hour of midnight, and to his amazement, he saw a figure of a man guiding an ox team over the ground. The animals, the man, and the plow were all as plain to be seen as if it had been daylight. Though the rest of the field was in competitive gloom, not knowing what to make of this singular sight, he called his eldest son to go and see who the stranger was. The boy went at once, and his watching father was further amazed to see the lad walk right through the plow and man as if there was nothing there. When the boy returned, he declared that he had found nothing and nobody in the field. Mr. Peterson himself now resolved to go and did so, but he could see no trace of the man and team, though on returning to the room from which he had seen the sight, he found them as plain as before. The man was dressed in the clothes of a laborer and wore a large, broad-brimmed hat, which completely concealed his features. He seemed intent on his work and never raised his head. When he cracked the whip, he carried over the backs of the oxen. There was no noise. Since this time, Mr. Peterson says he has reportedly seen the phantom plowman and has called in neighbors to see it with him, though... Always ongoing in the field, nothing was found. The people declare that the figure is that of a farmer who owned the place before Peterson bought it and who one early morning was found dead in the field by his own hand, it was thought. Mm -hmm.